Super Mayhem. Hello friends, it's Tim here from Super Mayhem, bringing you the latest and greatest in pumpkin, pumpkin carving goodness. So I'll go through what I'm planning to do. So I got this neat little pumpkin stencil off uh, MarioMayhem.com in the fun section under Mario Pumpkins. Um, I'll leave a link below so you can get your own stencil and give it a go. And the idea is to get this onto this pumpkin somehow. And to do that I have a few tools. So I've got uh, my scraper. So when I cut the lid off I'm going to scoop the goo out. There's a bowl for the guts. I um, can't remember what I needed scissors for but you probably always need scissors. Uh, I got a sharpie to mark my line around the top that I'm going to cut out first. Got my little knife uh, that you can see there to cut with. Um, and I got a poker that I'm going to poke through the stencil so I'll have a bit of a marking sort of guide. I have to work out which way is the best way to do this pumpkin. Maybe there. That's pretty good. Um, and I got uh, some sticky tape to sticky tape the um, stencil onto the front, uh, which should be good to poke it through. And then finally the weirdest ingredient, some flour. Any flour will do. But this is to highlight our pin pricks uh, through the um, through the stencil. So if we add all that together, hopefully we are gonna be in for a good time. So uh, let's get started. So first off we mark the top of our pumpkin. Feel like a surgeon already cutting into the skull of my patient. All right, rough circle done. Rough being the uh, premium word. So this is meant to be cut on a 45 degree angle. Uh, so I don't have a protra protractor with me, but uh, we'll do our best. I've never carved a pumpkin before, I'll add. So, oh wow, have to get really in there. Oh, I'm in. I might need a longer knife. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> All right, hopefully this one works a little bit better. We'll see, see how we go. I'm already out of the lines. Oh yeah, that's a lot easier. All right, we're all the way around. So with any luck, this lifts off, sort of. Oh yeah, look at the guts. Look at it all happening there. That's some quality. You can give that a bit of a, a lick. Oh yeah, it's quality, quality pumpkin, I can tell. All right, so now we got a, well, it's a thick pumpkin. I'll show you, show you the thickness in a second. But we want to get uh, this schmutz all into this bowl. One lid. <laughs> oh, I'm dropping pumpkin already. I put down special <laughs> paper for it, and it's on the on the tablecloth already. But look at the thickness of that pumpkin. That's a thick thick pumpkin, right? How the hell am I going to get all the shit out of that? All right. Hopefully with this scraper that I have. We'll try a spoon if this doesn't work. I'm led to believe a scraper might do the trick, but uh, we'll see. A spoon might be the way to go, because it's very stringy to get your arms going. Oh, this is working actually surprisingly well. All right. Wow, there's a lot of seeds. We could plant some pumpkins. Save me going to Safeway next year and getting a pumpkin. Oh, wow. I'll show you the seed town that's going on in here. Can you see that? Look at, look at all those seeds. That's seed town right there. All right, now to get it out. I'm just trying to make a bit less of a mess than I already am. Is this gonna work? 
Trouble is, we're talking about like a four kilo pumpkin here that I have to hold with one hand. Oh my God. Get those reps happening. Let's see, I might need a spoon to get the clean, clean it out a little bit. You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ditch this and go for the hand. Oh, Indy, cover your heart. Oh yeah, this would be a good activity for kids who don't mind getting a bit slimy. And there's still more guts in this thing. Oh my God. How many guts, how much guts are in a pumpkin? Apparently a lot. If anyone ever says Super Mayhem doesn't get their hands dirty, they're wrong. This video proves it. I'll go that extra mile. I'll lick a pumpkin for some reason. All right, well, I'm covered in pumpkin now, but uh, for, this, for the moment, I'm gonna declare it uh, clean. It's not very clean. I'm just gonna get cleaned up myself though, and then I'll show you what damage we've done. All right, so it's a little bit cleaner. There's still a few seeds in there, but uh, pumpkin looks good so far. All right, that was a lot messier than I anticipated. Um, all right. Now we pick a side where we're gonna stick this bad boy stencil. So now the idea is to get our stencil and uh, chew a little bit of the fat away, so to speak. So we don't have to worry about this uh, extra bit around here. So, Stencil, what do you reckon? There ish. Yeah, that would be good. So now we need several bits of sticky tape. Okay, so as you can see now, we've somehow stuck this uh, stencil onto the pumpkin. Now we begin what I like to refer to as the poking process, uh, where you get a sharp little stick type thing and we're just going to go through the the um well hopefully we'll go through the paper and into the pumpkin all right i'm back this time i have a metal skewer which should work a whole lot better oh yeah buddy so we're just doing the outline of uh our design which is going to take me a little while, so we'll fast forward. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the pin marks, but I've gone around all the borders and everything with pins. So now I'm just gonna have a quick break because my hand hurts like hell. So when I return, <laughs> uh, we will try um, flowering it and see if it looks like anything like the design. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is take this sticky taped uh, stencil off. Oh yeah, buddy. I can see his nose already. All right, so I don't know if you can see how well you can see that. It's a bit hard to tell in my camera, uh, but we do have dots in there. So to make them more prevalent, there's meant to be a nifty trick here with the uh, old flower. The key here is to get it everywhere except the pumpkin. No, I'm just kidding. It should be on the pumpkin. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Maybe like this. So that's maybe a little bit more visible now. Uh, it's still hard to pick up on the camera, but I can kind of see the lines, which is already a good thing. Whether or not I can cut them is another 
question. All right, let's do it. Let's see how badly we can mangle a pumpkin. Well friends, just when you want your camera to work, it uh, doesn't. I lost the last segment where I cut out this thing and revealed it. Um, however, now you can see the final cut of it. I've even cleaned it up a bit. Um, don't look too closely, you'll see where I mucked up. <laughs> but uh, I was lucky I didn't cut myself, it was a really sharp knife. Um, please remember this is my first pumpkin that I've ever carved and I'm in Australia. We don't even celebrate Halloween hardly because people are weird and don't like Americanization despite eating a McDonald's. But that's uh, a story for another day. Either way, leave a like for effort um, and I'll come back, I'll show you this when it's a little bit darker and we uh, chuck some candles in there and uh, see what it looks like. If it's a bit spooky, a bit fun or a bit, uh, bit crap, <laughs> we'll find out in the next cut. And voila, here we have the lit lantern. It may have taken a couple of hours, it may have resulted in a lot of goo in my hands, but I'm used to that sort of thing. I mean, <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, which way does this go? Oh, there we go. <laughs> so there we have it. Uh, one Mario pumpkin. You too can make one at home. If you visit, MarioMayhem.com slash fun slash pumpkin uh, Mario pumpkin or something. I'll leave a link below in the description guys Please leave a like please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed making a jack-o-lantern of Mario with me um, So yeah like subscribe share do all that good stuff, and I'll see you soon guys. Bye A huge thanks to Jacob Clark for being our first mayhem supporter without the likes of him I wouldn't be running if you want to join the team, please consider taking a look at our Patreon page in the description below. For your chance to get some exclusive behind the scenes looks at Super Mayhem, and even access to some sweet, sweet downloads. You don't need to go and traipse through New Donk City for a great deal. Head on over to SuperMayhem.com for all kinds of video game related goodies. We currently have a 30% off sale on everything over $40, and free shipping! Including Super Mario Odyssey related items even. Not enough for you? Use the coupon code ODYSSEY at the checkout for a further 15% off your order. Link in the description below. Check it out now.